Hi everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled, Fences. And the verse for today is Acts 2.44. Now all the believers were together and held all things in common. When people begin compiling their must-haves for a new home, a fenced-in yard may be included on the list. For some, perhaps it's because they have small pets or children who need a safe place to roam. But for many of us, the fence reflects a desire for privacy. Fences allow us to live among people while still controlling how often we interact with them. At the very least, they serve as a divider. A fence is a way of saying, I am responsible for this and you are responsible for that. The old proverb says that good fences make good neighbors. A fence, however, doesn't really make anything. If you think about it, a fence simply separates. Whether it's cheap chain link or a fancy wrought iron, the purpose of a fence is to delineate where you end and your neighbor begins. Early believers wouldn't have understood the concept of fencing off one's per personal property. They held everything in common. They sold all of their possessions, compiled the money, and gave to each person as needs arose. It was community in the purest sense of the word. Though they may have lived in separate homes, they did life together. Now, no one is su suggesting that you do away with your fence. After all, nothing makes loving thy neighbor more difficult than when thy neighbor's dog uses your lawn as a public restroom. Sometimes fences can be a really good thing. However, as Christ followers, we aren't meant to live in isolation. We are to be concerned with the well-being of our neighbors, seeking ways to serve them and to love them. We should spend time getting to know and caring for the people on the other side of the fence. Lord, forgive me for being overly consumed with my little place in the world. Help me to love my neighbors well. Amen. Now that was also a mouthful. <laughs> you know, through the years being military, having moved many places, we've had all kinds of neighbors. <laughs> the worst ones were right here in this house next to us. They had four little yippy dogs all the time. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is, you know what the word says? Love our neighbors as ourselves. Uh, and it also talks about putting others above ourselves. So sometimes that is a big deal when they're creating chaos for you and havoc. So we need the Lord to be in us to bring us peace when we can't find it outside of our fences. And you know, like it says about they sold all of their possessions and gave to each person as needs arose. You know, I'm thinking about the old Ananias and Sapphira story. They lied to the Holy Spirit. They said they had paid so much, like 500 or whatever shekels for a field, but it was really more something like that. And God killed them. <laughs> He wasn't having it like greed you know it's the love of money that is the root of all evil if you put money you love it so much you put things and money above people and above doing your the will of God which is to love others and you know be obedient to his will I'll just leave it at that <laughs> Go ahead and read the story about Ananias and Sapphira if you don't believe me. But anyway, especially during this time as we remember Christ's birthday, that he came to this earth, he sacrificed his kingdom, his omnipotence, his, and he still was omnipotent and omniscient, but he sacrificed that dwelling place, you know, that heavenly home where he didn't have to come down, but he did. And that was God's plan. So 
Let us remember him, be thankful for him, and as he showed us, be servants to others, he washed all their feet. You know, he took the scourging for us and didn't say a word, except for when I was in his father's house. Then he got mad and flipped the tables. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that y'all are doing well. It's like 53 here today, I believe, so it's really nice, not windy for a change. And later today, I'm going to be starting my card making. I know I'm way behind, but I'm going to do a live. If you're bored, you're welcome to come hang out. If you've got things to do, don't ever feel like you have to come see me. You do what you got to do. So y'all have a blessed Thursday and weekend. Take care. Love you. God bless. Bye.